Welcome to Excellential School of Chemistry. We're discussing the qualitative analysis alternative B practical chemistry of this year's WASI. And if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Please hit the subscription button now. And when you get into the examination hall, ensure you read the question very well and provide the requirements there. These questions here are just uh, practice questions. You are provided with sample G. Carry out the following test on G and test every gas evolved. Record your observations and conclusions appropriately. Put the whole of G in a boiling tube and add about 10 cm cube of distilled water to it. Stir thoroughly and taste with litmus paper and fill the walls of the boiling tube. Divide, it, divide the resulting mixture into two. To the first portion, add barium chloride solution followed by dilute HCO or HNO3. Any of them will be, uh, might be asked. Alternative to BI above, add some dilute HCO HNO3 solution to the first portion. Okay, so we continue. We see the questions later as we go. So here we have G plus water. G dissolves to form a colorless solution. G dissolves in water to form a colorless solution. And the conclusion from here, inference is that G is soluble in water. And may I quickly add this, that G is actually uh, ammonium carbonate, so it will help us in comprehension. G solution, that is uh, whatever we have here, plus litmus paper. Litmus paper turns blue, red litmus turns blue, showing that G solution is alkaline. And when you fill the wall of the test tube or boiling tube, the boiling tube feels cool and that shows that the dissolution of G is endothermic. Bi G aqueous plus barium chloride plus dilute mineral acid, I can mean dilute ACL or HNO3. There is formation of white precipitate, which gives a favor sense of a colorless and odorless gas with dilute mineral acid. Yes. Of course, the inference is gas may be CO2 from CO3 to minus. That is a suspicion. And uh, we continue. Now, this is a particular part. Nobody will, would, would give you that in examination. But of course, you are required to test every gas evolved so g plus okay gas from bi above plus moist blue litmus paper plus lime water litmus paper turns red showing that the gas is acidic and lime water turns milky and the inference there is that gas is carbon dioxide from CO3 to minus. So the conclusion is that CO3 to minus is present. Now, in the alternative, you might be asked BII as stated here. And of course, when you add the mineral acid to it, you see a favor sense of a colorless and a odorless gas. And the uh, gas may be CO2 from CO3 to minus. And when you test the gas using the litmus paper and lime water, the litmus will turn red, showing that the gas is acidic. And the uh, lime water will turn milky, which means that the gas is CO2 from CO3 to minus, and uh, that CO3 to minus is present. And then we continue. So when we go back to the original equations, C. To the second portion, we're done with the first portion, okay? Add five cm cube of, D, of uh, dilute 
sodium hydroxide solution and boil or you heat same thing so we have C here G aqueous plus uh, sodium hydroxide aqueous plus boil this is how you present it okay there will be evolution of a colorless gas with pungent smell you suspect gas may be NH3 from NH4 plus gas from above plus moist red litmus paper litmus paper litmus paper turns blue showing that the gas is alkaline and when you add plus add a, you pass the gas through HCL see that there will be dense white fumes which confirms that the gas is ammonia from ammonium ion and that ammonium ion is present so the final part of the equation the ions present are the ions present are CO3 2 minus and NH4 plus that's ammonium ion the salt could be ammonium carbonate Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe please to this channel and I wish you the best in your examination.